Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's DJ Show One King Legend coming at you here. All right, I got a little quick tip. All right, so as you know, there's a digital and an analog war going on. Some people still love analog. Some people still love their digital equipment, right? So let's say you have an old school mixer, right? You know, with lots of channels. Let's just say something like this, like this Mackie 1642 VLZ3. All right. So as you see, you have lots of channels. I like this mixer, all right, because I have several inputs and I have lots of options, all right? So I don't want to get rid of it no time soon. So let's say I want to do a little digital recording or so forth. This mixer doesn't have a USB, all right? These are all XLR, quarter inch, RCA inputs or whatever the case may be. So instead of me going out and buying an expensive mixer with 12 channels, 14 channels, 16, whatever, so forth, 24, what I'll do is I went ahead and got a smaller mixer, right? So this is the Soundcraft, all right? This is the Notepad 8FX, all right? So what I did now was run my analog into my digital mixer. So this way I have a USB input so I can record Whatever I do on the analog mixer will go straight into my USB soundcraft. You understand what I'm saying? So it's very simple. The only thing you have to do is run the output of your analog mixer into the digital mixer. You understand what I'm saying? You just put it into the input of one of the lines, and that way you can control everything that goes on from the analog mixer into one of these lines okay or you can use two lines it doesn't matter all right but it gives you the option of having 12 channels into this eight all right just being controlled by one channel all right so our one channel now controls that whole 12 channel mixer over there and i can also record with the usb option See, I have a USB port and so forth. I can run my iRig out of here, you know, to do uh, social media streams, whatever the case may be, IG, Facebook. All right, so that's just a little tip, you know, for some guys that has their uh, analog mixers and they love them and they don't want to part with them. All you have to do is uh, just buy a smaller mixer. All right, you save a lot of money by buying a smaller mixer with the options that you need. See, this has effects and everything, so I get uh, I get some effects on here. All right, I got my delay, which my analog mixer doesn't have. All right, so it kind of saves you some money, but also, you know, just keeping you with what you already have and what you love and what you know is reliable. All right, so that's a little quick tip right there, all right? on how to keep your analog and mix it into the digital world, all right? Without without spending a whole lot of money. Because versus buying a 12 channel digital mixer, you know, you just buy a smaller one for a quarter of the price and still use your analog mixer, all right? So yeah, that's my little quick tip of the day. DJ Show One signing out. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Lots more tips coming ahead, all right? Thank you.